Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing an air filter upgrade on the Z-Force. So stick around. All right guys, so here's what you're gonna need to get the job done today. We're gonna need a uni air filter. We're gonna need a uh, service kit, which has our oil and our cleaner. We're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver. <laughs> and we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket extension and ratchet. Let's get to it. Okay, the first step is to take your two 10 millimeter bolts off. There's one up here at the top. And the other bolt is down here at the bottom. Okay, now that you have your two bolts out, you just take the cover and pull it out to the side. <laughs> now that you got your cover off, you need to take your straight blade screwdriver and you need to pull these clips off. There's seven of them. Two, three, four, five. I think there's one up here. Yep, there it is. Six, there's one more. Popped off and see your filter. <laughs> so the next step here is you gotta take your straight blade screwdriver. And undo the clamp. So now after you get your clamp off, all you gotta do is pull the air filter out. Like so. So as you can see, where uh, CF Photo decided to put the air filters on this thing, it's very low in the machine. And this is the filter they give you. It's got a foam outer layer with a uh, paper inner layer. As you can imagine, that's going to be next to a lot of water being that low down on the machine. So you can see where this could kind of fail a little bit over time. So that's why we're putting in this uni filter. So I'm going to go ahead and get this taken apart. Comes in two different stages here. I'm gonna get my oil ready and we'll uh, get her lubed up. All right, so we've got our uh, uni oil. We're just gonna spray this down and uh, just make sure it gets good coverage. We're going to do that to both pieces. And we've got to let these sit for about three to five minutes, come back and check them. And we'll kind of work the oil around, make sure it's all good and lubricated. All right, so once you've got everything oiled, both pieces, just go ahead and slide them back onto each other. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, before you throw your old filter out, you are going to need this retaining clamp and this hard plastic piece off of it.
once you get that finally situated, which is a little difficult after your hands are oily, we're just going to go ahead and slide it back in the air box. Yeah. Go ahead and put the hose clamp on first, that would be intelligent. Alright, so now that we got our uh, air filter reinstalled in the air box, just uh, reverse your disassembly instructions and you're ready to go riding. Catch you in the next one.